Hey, what's up everybody? 72 Fins 1 bringing you another tractor video called Red Water Revival Midwest Cornfield Tubing. Well, this one revolves around tire tubes. And what is a tire tube, you might ask? Well, it's something that goes inside a tractor tire. Unlike your cars, um, which, well, you just you put some air in a valve stem right here, if the tire's low, and it inflates it right up. Not so much on these. On the old tractors you have, let me grab one of the old tire tubes here. This is the uh, right rear tire tube. Um, it's deflated, of course. Uh, you inflate it and it goes inside the tire and so it pretty much push the tire out against the rim here so um, this one's ripped and the valve stem hole is ripped off now hold on a second now uh, the right rear here that I think that was the original one that ripped yeah I'm pretty sure it was um, I got a new tube for like 45 bucks brought it home and I messed up something putting it on uh, so my mechanic tried to patch it and we tried to have it patched by a tire place and that didn't work so I end we ended up taking the wheel off the tractor which is real it's not fun because the thing's heavier than heck and so he eventually ended up taking it someplace and got another tube put in it and then we had a fun time getting it up the driveway because we had to pull it up on some sleds because his truck didn't have four wheel drive at the moment but eventually between a Subaru with some boards and a couple sleds we managed to get it up here and get it on the tractor and it's been holding there for a while so um yeah this one's I don't know if this is the original tire or not but there's all the cracks around here it's nowhere near new shape but um it'll hold air and do what I want for a while so that's the right rear which didn't have air when we when I first got it now the left rear, it still has some decent tread on it, and as you can see, it still holds air. Sorry, that's the best shot I can get of it, where the tractor's parked at the moment. Now, so the back ones are good. Now, so what's the point of this video if it's about tire tubes, you ask? What's about the front tire tubes? And the front tires for that matter. As you can see, the right front's pretty flat here. Um, now, and so is the left front. So, um, these are both going to have to go. Well, going to have to come off the tractor. And so, pretty much the thing is, is they want like 25 bucks a piece for the front for a front tire tube and then they want 60 bucks for a new front rim so that'd be like 170 bucks for new tubes and new tires for the front end of it and one of the and the left front tires isn't in that great a shape anyways but I will explain that once I take the old tires off um now how am I gonna go about Okay, never mind. Sorry, I'm jumping ahead of myself. So, what I did was, for now, I got my hands on another set of rims and tires for the front end. Um, the rims are a little rustier, but they'll hold just fine. Um, the tires are in okay shape. Got no idea how old they are. Um, this one's got run one rip right there, but I'm not too worried about that. So that's the one side of them. And then there's the other side which isn't too terrible I mean it's not great but it's usable for now um, then there's this one which is in pretty good shape as well now these of course have smaller tubes in the front of them um, so now the question is is how do we get how do I go about getting these better rims and tires and tubes onto the tractor to replace these old flat ones that I don't 
have a use for at the moment because they're not in that great of shape. Now, first we want to take, and we got to get the front wheels off the ground so I can take them off. Well, no way. Actually, the first thing I want to do is we got a bolt with a nut, a flat washer. No, no, not a flat washer. A lock washer and then a flat washer. And then the bolt head and a flat washer on the other side. Now I got some uh, grade 8 bolts from a hardware store. They're pretty much tough so they won't break or anything like that. So um, what you see right here is where the uh, nuts and bolt, nut and bolt and washer and lock washer all go through there. So I gotta get one, two, and three all loose and then just pull the uh, rim just straight like back towards me and it'll come off and then I just put the other ones on now what I got to get this off the get the tractor off the ground here is an old jack and what it does is the tire iron goes either goes one direction to get it up to crank the jack up and the other direction to crank the jack down now to get those nut, nuts and bolts off we're going to use a ratchet with a three-quarter inch socket and then a three-quarter inch flat wrench. Now, how's this all go on here? I'm gonna show you. So I grab both the wrench and the socket. Now uh, socket goes onto that bolt head. Let me just find the angle real quick here. Like that. And the flat wrench goes on to the nut like that now what I want to do is I want to break um, all three of the nuts and the bolts loose on each rim then jack it up and then just swap out the rims and tires and tubes so and you want to have your uh, uh, you want to be loosening on the flat wrench you want to have a set to tighten on the ratchet so you can be able to because that's the only way to get them on and off. So, um, for now, that's gonna do it. I'll bring you clips once the a clip. Sorry, once the um, everything swapped over, and I'll show you the diff how why these uh, rims and tires on the front here aren't really usable. So I will catch you guys later. Hey, what's up, everybody? 72 fins one. Bringing another clip of a Red Letter Revival Midwest Cornfield tubing. Now, I have the bad wheels and tubes and tires off the tractor um so this is what pretty much just what the part that um they bolt onto looks like just a hole there there and well there on each one of them um this one I have to add a couple uh bolts like there and there I can hold this thing that prevents dirt from getting into the middle of the axle there which is which holds all which holds grease to keep it all lubed up and keep the wheels turned nice and smooth um see so yeah, there's three bolts that hold that in place I only got one of them in place right now um this is what that's supposed to look like on that side right there um, now, as to why I'm taking these tires off, well, here you go. There's a bunch of nasty big cracks on this one, going all the way around, and then on the other side, there's more big cracks and whatever. Um, they're in worse shape than the other ones, the better ones. More cracks right there and there. Now the other one, I, yep, at best I would have been able to replace this one tire and gotten away with it for a while maybe, but um, this one is the worst one of the two. Not only does it have big cracks right here, but um, part of the tires actually ripped loose, the sidewalls ripped loose from the rest of the tire, and that's not good at all. 
you can't use that at all. Um, so that chunk's ripped off, and then there's just cracks all along the diamond tread of the pattern there. Um, so that's not good. Then on the other side, well, the other side has just minor cracks all the way around. So it's not too bad. But um, just this section with the sidewall missing, this that can't be used at all. So, anyways, um, this this was just meant to be a short clip I'm gonna put these two on and then I will bring you guys another clip so that's it for now